readymadeproject.com this video is for that e property project it is developed in asp.net and sql server okay so we go into online property management system asp.net csha sql server okay Basically, this property project is uh, to listing your uh, property, then buy, sell, display, search, all option will be there. So, first we will create the database. So once you buy this project, you will get uh, these files. Okay, this is a uh, backup file, uh, database script or backup both are there. Then you will get the source code folder. Then you will get that installation guide, project report, and synopsis. So you have to install first SQL Server. Uh, SQL Server, any version will work, like any latest version, and then Management Studio. Okay. And Visual Studio, you can install 2012, 15, or higher. So first you have to, after installation, you have to start the Management Studio. So I will just start the Management Studio. SQL Server. 2014. Once it uh, start, you have to click on connect to connect your server. And click on connect. Okay. Now click on database tree. You will just right click and create a new database. Okay. So you can just check in installation guide the same steps we have followed. So I just use that our database from real step and click on OK. So it will create one new database with, uh, means there is no table will be there, so I have to run the script right. So I can click, then click new query. Okay. Now go to your DB backup folder. Just select the path, copy. Then click on file, open file. Paste. This one, the description. Okay, this file will contain all the table actually. Create table, then all the indexes, all in such statement. The sample records will be there. So I will just run it. Okay, so it Okay, so it is not, uh, there is no issue actually, all tables are created. Okay, so you will get all the table with the sample record for you have to select this is the login details. Now once your database part is over, you have to just start your Visual Studio and then configure that uh, application. So I will start uh, Visual Studio. For this project, uh, you can use any Visual Studio version. And we'll use uh, Visual Studio 2012 here. Let's so start the Visual Studio. Now just go to the source code folder. You get that source code folder. Copy the path and click on File, Open Website. This option. You can just paste the path. The source folder path. 
now you will get the all the files here these are the files required to all the pages will be there okay now this is the master page all the look and feel is controlled from there like you can change that to 2020 whatever date like your name basically whatever you is here your email id you can put here okay now this is the for admin so we have the admin user for this uh, pages of there okay now here you have to made only one changes in web config file just go to the config file open it you have to change this path this uh, sorry path not data source name so where you will find it just go your sql server right click over the database property and copy this one and just change that config file paste here Save it, dust it. You can just set the default ASP to your home startup page and you will complete your setup. This is the home page. Like you want to search property by the type. I want to search to UHK. When you say you want more details, you can check. Now, these are the filter you should get, like when they are. Now, I want to log in. Yes, please, and log in. Now, password, you can just refer the installation guide also. The default user ID password is there. Like this one. So, yes. Or you can just check in your table also. Like this on member master. Copy it. Just. Whatever po project. Uh, he can means uh, listed it will show like he can add his own property like add property so his his id and everything is there type this is a new property he is adding flat so select three page okay. square for again try one thousand three hundred price say tiller area from say area this is a a photograph you can select the photo of that property so you can just once you submit it will add in the database it is added so you can just check the new state master it will be added one record here maybe some mirror or three is getting it now also if you go in mirror road, this new property is added. More detail. For uh, for uh, admin user, you have to just uh, click on delete that path and click on write admin. So this is for admin login. So user ID is this admin. Password is that you can just check password. So admin can check with the modify. So like I have added a three VHK you know, on this one type. Not here. So you can just search by this one I have added me about. Admin option to modify these details also. So this all option is there, so you can just check and you can log, uh, configure and use it, okay.